Chris here from Pixelwix and we're just showing you some new updates for version 261 of Projection Calculator. New panel at the startup, uh, we can go into the projection design as we always perhaps did, um, but now we have a new section to the right called LED design. And when we click this, it's only going to give us the icons and things that related to designing an LED layout. So one of the first things we're going to do is probably add a panel. When we select the panel over here and select plus, it adds us a nice panel on the screen. So that's the representation of an, a panel. In other words, a small module or a panel that they make into a larger um, display. So this particular panel um, is defaulted to 512 by 34, 384. And you can select obviously whatever your manufactured tile is. This panel is 640 millimeters or centimeters wide. So it's 0.64 here and 0.48 there. Uh, the depth is actually the three dimensional depth of the actual panel, which we can adjust. And we can obviously adjust the width and height. Now that combination of uh, 512 by 384 and that dimensions will give us the pitch of 1.25. The pitch is actually the millimeter distance between LED elements that make up this uh, 512 by 384. So now we need to add more panels together, obviously, to make a display. Well, first of all, I'm going to move this out of the way of the center because I'm going to be bringing some more things in. And uh, just like projection calculator, you've got the uh, grab tools as you always had. And I'm just dragging it out of the way. Um, now to make this screen into more, that would mean adding more maybe panels. Well, we can actually add panels by just adding the size um, by saying how many of these panels do you want to join together to make a big panel? So even more modules, in other words, does, you, does this make up to make a big panel? And I'm going to just start selecting. You can see that it's starting to select these small modules into a panel. It still gives you a square of where that module is so you can see it, which is really handy. So let's um, do some real world quick here for what's really going to happen. So we can change this from meters, um, uh, just like we can in projection calculator to feet and so on. Um, so the other half of the projection calculator rather. And so I can still do a unit here called 3D objects. So I'm going to add a 3D object of a stage, which I've downloaded. And I'll go to uh, the downloads here and take it from there. There it is. So I'm importing a stage model. And there's my model. A little dark because it's uh, got all the materials. So I'll just switch the material off and go back to the basic. And uh, we'll grab our um, screen module. Actually, this is really a screen now because it's made of many modules. So I'll push that into place and we can see in real time. Yeah, that's not particularly very big for this particular stage. So I'm going to place it at the back. And we're going to make it a little wider. So we're back to our panel. And we'll give it a few more modules and a bit more height. Now in doing so, we've actually also automatically given us the values for the actual pixel resolution of this screen. This one says it's 10,240 by 3,456. So now we know we can um, adjust this to know what sort of resolution we really want and need. And we'll move that back here. So there it is. So we've placed it in the screen, uh, sorry, on the stage. And obviously we could place another modules with makeup into a panel to the right and left if we do that. And so we can have as many as we want. Um, at this point, then we're going to have to break things like a processor. So here we can actually add our processor. We can name it, um, tell it the resolution that the processor is going out. And we can link that to an LED panel if we wish to. So we go back to the panels. And at the bottom here, we can say, what image processors are you using? Because you may have many. And each screen may have a processor of its own. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can actually go into the screen here and say, look, just send me some content on there so I can see what it looks like. There's the image processor selector. Here we can put still image, spout, or NDI. NDI is really useful for actually sending uh, virtual feeds to this virtual screen. And I can kind of say, OK, that would be kind of cool. Let's send something, but what? So if you're not used to NDI, basically NDI just comes up with a um, on a computer. So I'm sending NDI from my laptop to this other PC. And I'm going to say, send it screen capture, which is this here. So we've got that selected. And I'm now going to send whatever's on my other PC screen via cat to the virtual input of this thing. So I'll go here, switch on the NDI source select my computer and feed in 
my feed. So I'll play that back and we can see that's now live feeding on that screen. And what we can do here is we can kind of put the uh, raster on so we can kind of see what does it look like, you know, with those, all those little elements you can see that make up the LED screen. So we can get an idea of what's this fella going to look like in real time. We can also decide here if we wish to, to we should have stacked these perhaps in a way that would give us some sort of curvature. Um, and instead of having to go back and do that, we've actually got a, a feature here to just go and say, give it some horizontal curve. Let's give it a 40 degree curve and we can instantly see that you'd stack the tiles around. And if you look closely, you'd see that there's joins in those. And that gives us an idea of what does this look like in this location for, you know, for the concert. Obviously, we can put other elements on here, humans. If we wish to push a human, we've got a model database on here. We can go into the model database, pick some um, people, add them. And he's a little fella under here. He's gone through the floor because the stage is raised. But we can still select him and move him out of the way if we wish to. But let's leave him peeking through the stage for now. But you get an idea that you can actually select um, objects and uh, you know move them around to get a idea of scale um, of an audience maybe to see what they see. You can actually put eye points in this and do analysis from eye points. Um, we've got options here to uh, do the resolution. And the idea of that is that if you go and put, what's the point of putting a point one pixel pitch up there when somebody's looking for three, four meters back, they wouldn't get really any benefit from that. So you, you can go to a two or 2.4 and then you know how many meters back you can really still see a good resolution. And that's what the analysis of the LED panels are all about. So this is just a quick overview. There are more functions on here, but we'll just leave it that this is an add on as well. So it's not like a separate program. This is just a section of projection calculator. So anyway, this is Chris from Pixelwix just showing you some of the updates on 261.